Well, hello, YouTubers. How are you guys doing? Today I'm up here at KM Auto Sales in Bandera, Texas. I'd like to give a big thanks for providing the truck featured in today's in-depth review. Links to their website and contact information can be found in the video description. So today, I bring you one awesome treat for you all Cummins enthusiasts today. I'm proud to bring you this 1997 Dodge Ram 2500 SLT Cummins. This is going to be a complete and in-depth review of the Ram. We'll start the engine, show it off, go over many of the performance specs, and show you all the features that this truck has to offer. So we'll go and get started by walking around the exterior. It's got a nice maroon red exterior. I've been always wanting to find a lot more second gens to film. And here I've got my chance. And being a 97 Cummins, this does have the 12 valve Cummins diesel. And I'll show that later in the video. It's got the original 16 inch wheels wrapped in Yokohama Geo Lander HTS tires. Also, as you can see up front, it does have a front brush guard and even fog lights built in. This is a long bed. You do have much more bed space. You got mud guards down there, tow package down below. Show you inside the bed. This truck does have a drop in bed liner. It does have a floor mat in it as well. Liners by Custom Liner. Factory exhaust. Now I've pretty much shown you all around the exterior of this truck. Now I'm going to go ahead and go on the interior. It does, it only comes with a key. Don't expect to find it remote keyless entry. Inside this does have a gray cloth interior. All your power options are right over here. Your power windows, power door locks, and even has power mirrors. So let's go ahead and jump inside here. Very nice truck. Now we'll go ahead and start the engine here. Old school buzzer. And you won't believe the mileage. It has 301,000 original miles. On an old Cummins like this, that's nothing. <laughs> nice thing that the wait to start light is actually down here by the climate controls. All right. Now since it's the manual, so you do have to hold down the clutch, make sure you're in neutral, and the parking brake is set. So, now let's go ahead and start this thing. Fires right up. Runs like a champ. It's got a full leather wrapped steering wheel. Nice and smooth power assisted steering. A little bit of tightness to it, and it does feel a bit spring-loaded, but that's normal. This has the 5-speed NV4500 manual transmission. All the way over and down for reverse. Alright, now let's go ahead and turn on the lights. Fog lights. The hazards. It does have power windows. We're going to put down the driver's side. All right, now let's go ahead and check out the exterior. in shut off all the lights and now I'm gonna pop the hood show the engine all 
all your Cummins diesel enthusiasts are gonna love this. At the business end of this Ram 2500, we find it here, it's good old 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel inline six cylinder. The old 12 valve produces 215 horsepower and 440 foot-pounds of torque. Everything under here is all stock. Got its factory air box, factory HX35 turbo, factory 215 horse heat pump, factory intake manifold. This just gives you a perfect example of a clean, well-kept 12 valve. Absolutely no blow-by. This engine runs fantastic. And as for fuel economy, heavy duty trucks are not required to meet the EPA, but these trucks can get an average of about 18 miles a gallon depending on your towing and driving characteristics. But you just gotta love the old school reliability of these old 12 valves. Some power plant. So now let's go ahead and shut the hood. Go back inside. Now we'll go ahead and see how it sounds. the sound of a 12 valve. Parking brakes down here. Just press to set. It's already been set. To release, just pull this lever here. There's your indicator light down there. You can set that back. There it is right there. So now let's go ahead and shut the door. Roll up the window. Check out some of the interior features. First off, we'll go ahead and get the AC going. It's crazy hot today. The AC does function right down Try and get it blowing here. All right, here's your original, original radio. It does have a tape player. The display is not working, but right there it turns all the way off. And your volume is right there. Your tune is right there. Your fade right over here. Your balancer is right over here. Bass and treble controlled right there. AM, FM set. See, track seek, rewind and fast forward for your tape player. Five presets down here, eject for the tape. Very basic radio. Your climate control is right over here. Your fan speed is right there. There's for your AC. Over here is just, if you want it just blowing, but back there is for AC. Your different zones are up here. Front defrost, recycler, and your temperature. Not too sure what this switch does. Get a power outlet right over here. Flip out cup holders on the top. Oh, ashtray right here. Let's put that back. Another 12 volt power point right down there. Glove box. You have two storage compartments on the side of the door. Visor up above, little mirror for the passenger, reading lights, which I don't think are working. Center console storage, it does flip up for the extra person riding along. Your cruise controls on the bottom of the steering wheel. Your horn buttons are obviously right there. Wiper controls are on the turn signal stock. It does have a tilt steering column. It does have a manual sliding seat with manual recline. We're going to see if I can show you the back seat. There's a view of your back seat. 97 was the final year that these had the fixed rear doors before 98 when they, when they were opening up. 
but the bottom does fold up for extra cargo space. Right there's your jack storage, right back there. Overall, you just gotta love this truck. I love it and I bet you will too. This will make a very good workhorse. I'll go ahead and shut it down here. Well guys, I hope you all enjoyed this in-depth review of the 1997 Dodge Ram 2500 Cummins. Please like, rate, comment, and subscribe. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.